You really love it. And even if you don't know how to do it, you still love to watch it. Dance floors around the country are facing a swing revival. And it's no surprise. Walk into a club with the music jumping and your feet may soon have a mind of their own. The young people just, you feel that goes right through your body and you get all excited, you just want to get out there and dance. And dance, they do. Bill Perneau is president of the Swing Dance Society of Long Island. He says membership is growing, especially among young people. On this night, things are swinging hard at a small neighborhood pub at the edge of town in Massapequa. DJ Johnny O is a big hit at this swank little night spot called My Room Lounge. So what's the deal with this new swing appeal? I think people today are getting more into social dancing where they're touching each other, holding each other. It's great for single people because there's really no pressure, you know, to meet someone or this and that, you know, dating and all that. It's just people learning things together and having fun. That's the thing about swing dancing, you can't do it alone. It's very social, very social. The term swing is used pretty broadly these days, but there are actually a variety of dances to suit your swinging and swaying abilities. In the movie Swing Kids, you would see Savoy Lindy Hop. Then there's the sultry West Coast swing. They dance like they're dancing on a diving board. The guy gets off and on the diving board, and the lady walks up and down the diving board. And then there's all kinds of moves. Plus the very aerobic East Coast swing. Clubs all over Long Island are hosting revival nights. We started this for the 25 to 30 group, and uh, it's working out real well. They like the place, they like, they like the style, they like the music, and they're having a good time. A lot of local talent is brewing up 90s style swing music, fusing it with ska, punk rock, or rockabilly. And those are the sounds of Pretty Frog and Four on the Floor as they serenade Massapequa and Long Island into another swing revival. So why does a veteran musician like Freddie Frog travel back in time to make new music? There's always a return. I mean, we keep returning to our roots. I feel we have to because uh, every once in a while rock and roll gets so weird and varied that we have to shake ourselves back into reality by examining our roots. Roots that would make our grandparents proud. Sabina Boggs, News 12, Long Island. And if you're interested in checking out the swing scene, you can search Swing Dance Long Island on the web. You'll find out about dances and band performances in your area. The entertainment section of major Long Island newspapers will also have listings. And be sure to watch the half-hour edition of Long Island Lifestyles this weekend. It airs at 10.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 8.30 on Saturday and Sunday. I hope so.